we continue with the solution of the problem of solving NS equation with respect to for the for the blood flow in arteries and the model is considered to be the Poisson's flow model in which the fluid flow takes place in rigid body solid cylinders however we are trying to take consider it in uh, arteries the same motion of blood in arteries so trying to integrate the last equation that we arrived at for the, this uh, problem we find out that the velocity component u turn out to be equal to this value and this is a general velocity profile that we have obtained and it's in which the variation of pressure is of order 2 pressure gradient is of order 2 while the radius is of order 3 now if we use n equal to 1 we would get that u is equal to this value and then it turns out to be the second order the parabolic shape or velocity profile and sort of in the axial direction because the velocity component u is taken to be in the axial velocity direction pressure gradient in its solution is playing an important role and it's if we try to draw it it will be of this form uh, parabolic in nature so the volume of fluid or the and the rate at which it will be flowing will be equal to this and, and it has been derived from this formula and it turns out to be equal to pi r by 5 into 1 by 2 mu uh, the pressure gradient dp by dx whole square as written here and when n is equal to 1 the general equation for the volume flow uh, rates uh, reduces to that of the Poisson's flow but really it's not the same as the Poisson's flow as we have pointed out and we have made this observation that our, our assumptions are not quite very realistic however they approximate they make a linear approximation and try to see how the blood will flow under the assumptions made here and if we try to draw a diagram for the velocity profile that we have obtained then we see that if there is a newtonian fluid then it flows as shown by the red line and you can see that that is quite parabolic in nature and its behavior but the pseudo elastic fluid which is close to the blood flow situation in arteries because they behave in that manner then that is shown by the blue line because the blood is not a newtonian fluid it is non newtonian and so it shows elastoplastic behavior at times as well and you can see that it is blunt here and not as smooth parabolic in nature as is the Newtonian fluid so these are the differences and this little difference is to be expected anyway but this was a very simple blood viscosity model and still that helps to solve problems because if uh, let us say there are no restrictions in the or limitations in the arteries because they say there are deposits of calcium potassium etc along those arteries and they narrow down the radii and so the blood flow is kind of limited and it can, it cannot flow as smoothly as it would like to so devices have to be inserted or introduced so that the blood can flow as smooth as it was flowing for a body in which those restrictions are not existing so this was just a simple attempt to solve the blood flow problem 
by considering Poisson's method. Not very accurate, but a way to move forward and a first step by taking a linear approximation.